Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the science and tech episode number two because uh, last week Friday we did science and tech and now again we'll do science and tech. So December 16th uh, we'll do five MCQs and uh, please see to it that you are watching all the episodes done by all the teachers because every day is a different subject. We are covering CSAT, we are covering current affairs, we are covering history, polity, geography, economy, environment. Everything is done. Okay, even maps, international relation, anything which you need for UPSC is done for free five five MCQs a day and there are free lectures also. First thing you have to do is whatsapp me so that i give you the 25 foundational videos which you have to startingly see as a beginner series okay without that if you watch lectures i am sure that you are not going to clear this upsc because there are certain ways to understand these subjects okay so please see to it that you are whatsapping me and getting the foundational videos so first question for science and tech uh, for today that is uh, episode 12 december 16th osteomalacia is caused in adults due to the options are mosquitoes water containing chromium vitamin d deficiency lack of sleep so this term keeps appearing in the news in your uh, sunday hindu column and all many science uh, related articles will be there so you have to know certain terms okay because upsc always ask you terminology and in what context it is in news or what is it related to okay they won't ask you very very detailed questions on science and tech so here the answer is c that is vitamin d deficiency okay so this is actually related to the weakening of the bones. So the bone formation, bone building, everything when it has a problem, it is called osteomalacia. Okay. It is the same as osteoporosis. It is the weakening of living bone that is already formed and is and are being remodeled. So a lack of vitamin D is the most common cause of this and it is important nutrient that helps you absorb calcium in your stomach. Vitamin D also helps maintaining calcium and phosphate levels so your bones form properly so you have noticed that vitamin d calcium phosphate all these things are important for your bones okay so it's made within the skin from exposure to uh, ultraviolet rays in sunlight it can also be absorbed from foods like dairy products and fish your body can't process the calcium your bones need to stay strong if you have low levels of vitamin d so calcium is needed but to process that you need vitamin d okay so that is why sun exposure and a proper diet is required now again certain conditions can interfere with the absorption of vitamin d okay so it's a celiac disease then certain types of cancer kidney and liver disorder all these can prevent your body from absorbing the needed vitamin d or maybe processing the vitamin d okay so a diet that includes phosphate can cause uh, that doesn't include phosphate can cause phosphate depletion which can lead to osteomalacia okay and drugs to treat seizures okay some drug names and all not given uh, given not important okay symptoms again if you see easily fracturing bones and whenever your bone is weak okay that is when you understand you have or you are moving towards this particular thing okay bone pain and body pain will be there so if you have very low level of calcium in your blood you may have irregular heart rhythm numbness around your mouth numbness in your arms and legs spasms in your hand and feet okay so it will lead to broken bones and severe deformity so this is the question number one for today question number two cryptozoologist seen in seen recently in news refers to those who experiment on gene editing techniques in animals those who promote in situ more than ex situ conservation those who research only on specialized organisms which can contribute to r d those who search for animals whose existence is disputed so four options are given and you have to know what is cryptozoologist this again in the sunday column of hindu newspaper it keeps appearing okay it's not like recently last one year two year three year if you see this uh, term has been repeatedly there in the news so they are ones who search for animals whose existence is disputed okay meaning the uh, mythological kind of creatures the monsters and many many things are there which you have heard uh, folklore and uh, stories and all but you don't know whether it exists or not so such disputed characteristics uh, or animals that is the research on that who is doing that is called cryptozoologist now question number three which of the following refers to biosimilars seen frequently in news okay so biosimilars biomedicines made similar to other existing medicines biological similar child developed by embryo transfer the new species developed due to morphological changes after being introduced in new habitat species which have at least 90 percentage matching traits example crocodile and alligator so what is biosimilar answer is a that is biomedicines made similar to other existing medicines okay 
biosimilar also known as follow on biologic or subsequent entry biologic is a biological medical product which is almost an identical copy of an original product that is manufactured by a different company okay so unlike generic medicines in which active ingredients are identical to the reference thing biosimilars will not be identical to the reference biologic okay so it is a similar thing identical copy of the product manufactured by a different company okay and that is see the different four or five news articles which came in different different months so it is very very important okay whenever the word keeps coming in the news upsc will make note of it chimeric antigen receptors t that is car t treatment cd19 cd22 molecules all these were in news in context of what diabetes chikungunya yaws leukemia during uh, in context of which disease was this treatment and these molecules there in news answer is leukemia okay so physical car t cell therapy is one in which patients t cells okay what is t cell b cell i'll explain you you pc asked last year also so in uh, patients t cells are genetically modified to target a molecule called cd19 on the surface of the cancer cell okay on the cancer cell there is a cd19 molecule on that genetically modified t cells are done so that this therapy works okay so this are artificially created immune t cells that have been engineered to produce receptors on the surface that are designed to target and kill specific cells containing viruses or tumor proteins okay so tumor and all these things are there to destroy that or to kill that you have to do a therapy for that you have to modify your t cells genetically and then inject it on a target it on a molecule called c19 okay so this is how hiv also has been treated so in case of leukemia a new discovery was there two years back that a car t cell therapy where in soft cd19 molecule there is a cd22 molecule okay in, on that you will target this uh, modified t cell okay this approach is helpful because the cancer cells of some patients who undergo cd19 targeted crt Uh, therapy stop expressing the cd19 molecules on their cell surface so this again detailing which you don't need what you have to know that the immune cells the t cells has to be uh, modified and then targeted on a molecule to uh, treat certain diseases okay so hiv can be treated leukemia can be treated based on which molecule you are targeting okay so now what is t cell b cell is what you have to study okay both are related to immunity okay the b cells so called because they develop in the bone marrow that is why b cell okay they can produce antibodies then t cells because they develop in a small organ called thymus gland okay that is why it is t cells okay this is bone marrow this is thymus gland so b cell and t cell they are variety responsible for variety of immune response this was last year's question okay upsc's question was b cell and t cell are important for what an answer is for immunity functions okay that was the answer for that now thymus gland what it is bone marrow what it is science related thing you can read here okay the organ okay a small organ and a big organ and stem cells are present so these kind of basic things you can read this is again a hindu article on the new therapy of leukemia now question number 5 which of the following is not a ballistic missile okay not a ballistic missile means it should be a cruise missile so what is ballistic and cruise missile that also i'll teach you today so options dhanush shaurya surya nirbhay which of the following is not a ballistic missile meaning which is a cruise missile answer is d nirbhay is a cruise missile not only nirbhay uh, there is one more important one i'll tell you okay like the brahmos nirbhay is a cruise missile just like brahmos so difference is that nirbhaya is indigenous that is made in india okay long range 100 km and subsonic brahmos is made with russian collaboration and it is supersonic okay meaning more than the speed of sound or less than the speed of sound so this is the cruise missile examples now what is ballistic and cruise ballistic is a missile with high arcing tra trajectory which is initially powered and guided but falls under gravity meaning you release it then it will go and fall under the uh, power of gravity okay but cruise missile is a low flying missile which is guided meaning you have to lock a target and then it will be going like that and going and hitting the target correctly okay it will be going not under the force of gravity but it is programmed to go till a particular uh, destination okay that is cruise missile basically okay now the pictures of different different missiles if you see this is the uh, nirbhay missile and the brahmos missile this is the dhanush missile and the uh, shaurya missile this is the surya missile which will be a very long range 16000 km one and this is the uh, agni 6 uh, okay which will again have a very big range okay so like that different missiles pictures are there these are all there in our test series with explanation each missile and if you see differences ballistic and cruise ballistic uh, range low to very high up to 15000 km this is mostly around 1000 km up to 4000 so range is high for ballistic okay because you are leaving it in the gravity then this one is altitude is high but this one altitude is low okay this is easily detectable this is hard to detect because it is low flying then this is precision is low this precision is high 
Okay, it fit for large target, it fit for small and mobile target. Then this is up to 25,000 km speed, this is around 1000 km speed. So, very hard to intercept, possibility to intercept. So, all possible differences also I have covered here. So, this much is enough. Okay, more than this UPSC will not ask you. So, please make a note of this and my serious aspirants who is enrolled, please revise my PDF again and again because like this hundreds of charts and notes are given in the test PDF. Okay, so this is the question number uh, 5. Now, again as I told, Plum series alone will not help you clear the exam. Okay, if you are studying current affairs or science and tech and all, you have to read the newspaper, you have to join one good test series, you have to solve previous year questions, you have to be knowing what is happening around like whether artificial intelligence anything is happening, whether Elon Musk is doing anything, any new weird experiment, whether India is doing something for space, private space organizations are coming up in India. You have to know everything which is happening in India, okay, whether it's defense or science or space or uh, Nobel Prize, anything, okay, you have to know the current affairs, okay. So, we have science uh, 5 tests dedicated to that, along with that we have this 10, uh, 12 to 24 months of current affair. In this, every possible question which UPSC asks will be there, okay, that is our guarantee. Every year, 100 plus marks are solvable in our test series and this year also it will repeat, okay, 2023 also it will repeat, provided that you study this in order and this is given as a paid course so if you want whatsapp me and i'll give you the details okay in case you want subject okay meaning subject wise just current affair of 12 months of last four years separately you can buy that also combo packs are there of two years or four years just pause and read whichever pack you want okay you can come and buy even science and tech like this five tests that uh, five alone you can separately buy because some people want only science and tech okay that is also possible but again i'm telling this plus current affairs is what will help you cover the entire thing because science and tech static questions will be there here but the latest one whatever new uh, discoveries or inventions are there that will be in the current affair pdf so please see to it that you are joining us if you are serious about the exam and try to get the best seller packs okay so next episode will come tomorrow thank you and have a nice day